Welcome to Back Into Fishing. Down here today at my community lake. I had a mixed bag success down here last time. I'm going to see if I can do a repeat of that. But for right now, I'm going to make the long walk around up to the upper end of the lake. Work my way back. Okay, I've made my way up the lake. This is the spot I started last time. I actually got a fish somewhere in this area here. I don't remember what bait it was, but I've got a small wacky worm tied on. A crappy jig and a Ned rig. Those are the uh, baits that worked for me last time, so I'm going to start with those. There's a bite. <clears throat> Nothing there. Line was moving. A slightly changed position. I moved about 40, 50 feet from where I was. Didn't get any bites over there. I caught a couple of fish in this spot last year. There was a bunch of logs in the water here. They're gone now, but uh, no telling what's underneath the water. I've changed locations again. No bites so far except for that one at the first place. I stopped. I switched over to the Ned Rig. There's a lot of underwater brush here. Caught fish here before on a Ned or a uh, Texas rig. It's going to start with that. That might be a fish. And it is another green sunfish. But hey, right now I'll take them. They were almost an hour. I got nothing. That's something. Hey, let's do a quick giveaway here. About 10 feet in front of me here is a spot I used to fish. I don't fish it anymore. The first person who can guess what I used to call this and why I don't fish it anymore, I'll send a free pack of yum dingers. some kind. Oh, bass, finally. Come here. Good one. I mean, not a keeper, but for this lake, it's a good one. Eh. He's got a mark here on him from something. something cut him pretty good. Bit at him, who knows what. Let's get him back in. Well, that's my first one in a long time. A frog. In a very long time. He's right there. I got him off. He ate my worm. <sighs> Something had it, but I have no idea what that was. This is the spot where I caught the crappie last time I was here. So we are definitely going to spend some time at this spot. Sorry about that. Let's move into a better spot around this tree. As soon as I threw the bait out there, I was reaching for the camera and he hit. A little bit better. About the nine and a half, ten inch. Got this little mark back here just behind a fin. I might have caught this one before.
I was having some technical issues there again with my camera. The battery ran out and I plugged in my accessory battery, but it was not powering the camera. But I think the problem was actually my cable. It seems to be working okay now. Down here to the bait stealing tree. Wind is howling. This will be my last stop. I decided to make one more stop. This is the spot where I caught the uh, uh, green sunfish last fall. It's right over here. It's on the way out. Make a few casts. Another bass. I did not even know he was on there. I thought I was in the grass and I kept slowly reeling it in and it was just slightly heavy, slightly heavy, slightly heavy and then, then it took off. By then he had hooked himself. So I went to another fishing trip. Now they say that any day you're catching them is a good day so I guess today is an okay day. It wasn't looking too good there towards the end. I only got the one bass and the uh, green sunfish but uh, the last green sunfish and the two bass I caught in about the last 20-25 minutes so didn't turn out to be too bad of a day. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope to come back soon with a new video.